John. No autograph? Uh, he's my agent. Yes, he's my agent. What's it like being back out here? Erwin, you like it? Yeah, it's nice to be out. I, uh, it's been 40 years. It's, it's been 40 years, I think. Mean, okay. Before the uh, pandemic. It hasn't changed? It hasn't changed, has yeah, it? Man, it's just I can't get around like it used to. But uh, thanks to my tricycle, I'm just doing great. Who, who was the first commissioner in the week? Tim Weaver. Tim Weaver. So, was he also an AD? Yeah, first time last year. Yeah, that makes sense. Country up that, that makes sense. He must have been AD when he had Walker was coaching. Let's go to the Emma. Let's go through the Catskills. He also yeah, had. That's where I got him to the Catskills. He's also a golf coach. Finger, the lights. He was the golf coach. Finger lights? Yes. Do you ever go back to the yeah, yeah. I'm from the city of Wake Forest, by the way. Well, you know, that's where I grew up. I've been to Wake Forest for many times. Grove Stadium. Oh, uh, for a day. Yeah, we were, we were heading south the whole time. Yep. Yeah. I think what the... Uh, driving around the Finger Lakes is just a beautiful yeah. drive. Well, was, Arnold Palmer's favorite oh, yes, spot was, was yeah, Shorty's. Shorty's Jim's, Jim's, Jim's going to recruit him. They got packages down here for you. And I had a set of Wilson staff Woods and Irons, 1965 vintage. And all it was, in the, in the, it had Greenbrier label and, and the, it typed it up and just said Sneed. That's all, that's all I ever heard about him. The guy at Wilson said he was really touched by the tournament. But can I tell more Sneed stories? The, sure. the biggest Sneed story though, of all was 1960 at, at Star Mount. Uh, and it, it, if, uh, if you, you know, if your uh, memory is good enough, you know that golf courses in this part of the world in 1960, and the last week in March or the first week in April, we're not in terribly good shape. And you know the the old saying was that Sam buried his money in tomato cans in his backyard to keep the IRS from finding it. And so that's neat. You need to know that. But anyway, the, 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 at the presentation, Sam, you know, in the, in a jocular way, said said maybe somebody would get. Mr. Benjamin to dig up some of his tomato cans and spend some money on the golf course before next year. <laughs> well, Mr. Benjamin was a, I'd say tyrant is a, is a polite word for him. Uh, he was happened to be sitting about 20 feet away, not to say Sam didn't know that. And he didn't take kindly to it. And he banned Sneed from the golf course for life. And so they had moved the tournament. That's the first time they was, it was alternating those days with between Starman and Sagefield. Of course, Starman had become landlocked anyway. They couldn't have had, they couldn't continue to have it there if they wanted to. But, but anyway, he was banned for life. But the, then the, the postscript was on Monday afternoon, I was at the office and I, my phone rang and it was Mr. Benjamin. He was in New Orleans and not many people knew that he lived in Greensboro and New Orleans. And so this on this particular year, the, the, the uh, tour went to New Orleans the week after Greensboro, so it was the big topic, all the players down there. And Al Besselink had said very loudly that Sam was right, and but Mr. Bid was calling up and says, Al Besselink is also banned for life, and I want you to put that on the AP. <laughs>